Hello, in this video I'm going to talk a few general tips on passing the AMC MCQ. So few people will read too many books which will be the uh, cause of their failure. So I would advise kindly do not read too many books. Few people were um, sending me uh, messages and mails saying I read Oxford Handbook, I read uh, Hull and Johnston of Pediatrics, I read uh, Kaplan series, I read John Murta, I've done recalls, but I've still failed the exam. I think the reason why they failed is reading too many books. I would advise read only two books. Uh, as I already mentioned in my other slide, uh, something like Kaplan books and Murtag. Um, the most important thing that will decide pass or fail in the exam uh, apart from knowledge is time. So anyone can pass the exam if they have an extra half an hour. So this is very true because it's a clinical exam and they want to filter as many um, doctors as possible. So that's the reason the exam is framed in a way that uh, a person who is uh, very quick in reading the question, who grasps the information very quickly will succeed. Knowledge is only next to managing time. If you ask me what is one most important thing everyone should manage, it's the time. Time is one thing that will decide whether you pass or fail the exam. So how would you overcome this? I've done a different video, but a general tip is um, try to read as many MCQs as possible. Um, many people were asking about recalls. Recalls will help, but uh, recalls will make you lose your confidence as they are not properly framed. And most of the recalls, there are wrong answers. So I would advise um, do a few recalls, but don't completely rely on them because uh, they um, will lead to failure. Uh, I'll do more videos on this. Uh, I wish this is very helpful to you. Thank you very much.